So, okay, so Harry wants to rehabilitate and um, he has asked somebody or a bunch of people in the UK. I guess when he went to the funeral of his uncle and he saw his brother, he must have got on his knees and begged his brother to please let him back into the royal family. This is what they would like us to believe because these are the same people who had no idea how he was even coming to the UK. So they clearly are not in, in the in group with Harry and Meghan in the first place. They know nothing about Harry and Meghan, right? But they want us to believe that they're such experts and they have all this inside information. And all of a sudden, Harry comes back from the UK after one day, if less than a 24 hour visit to the UK for a funeral. And they want us to believe that they are insiders who know what occurred during that time and that Harry has been begging all these people in the UK, I guess his brother being at the top of the list, to help him to rehabilitate his image in the UK so that he can return because apparently this whole thing in America has been a complete and total disaster. The Colombia trip was a disaster. The Nigeria trip was a disaster. The book was a disaster. The documentary, I mean, they are in dire straits, apparently, in America. This is what they would like us to believe. And they are looking for a way back into the UK because life was better there. The weather is better. Their, their position is better. They get a lot more respect. There are no leaks. No, you know, they have all the privacy in the world that they need. And so they want to get back in. They want to get back on a stipend from William and Charles. And they want to get back Frogmore mm-hmm. Cottage. Look, and oh my God, they're so public? miserable. Uh, no, it's public. Okay. It's a public. It's a public. It's a public. It's a public. It's very jolly. It's a sentier, you know. It's a sentier, Ah, ok. Et donc, c'est loin ou c'est encore? Non, c'est 3 minutes. 3 minutes, ok. C'est so joli. Hein. Oui, et si vous vous baladez un petit peu dans le quartier, il euh, y a euh, des, des petits euh, chemins, des petits sentiers. Ouais. On dit petit chemin, c'est sentier. Voilà. Ouais. Et bien sûr, c'est. c'est how do you say? How do you say safe in French? C'est en anglais. Is it safe? Yes, it's safe. Okay. There is no one. There's no one. Okay. <laughs> it's so jolie, huh? My God, look at this. It's like, I, I love all of these little French houses and gardens. Yeah, but it's, you know, it's not the, the campaign, I mean. Uh, it's not the country. It's, uh, yes, it's not the country. It's, uh, no, it's the suburbs, but it's... It's, it's the Paris. No, it's but Paris. It's, it's Paris is just there. So, in fact... Paris is very busy. Uh, yes. But here, um, a bit uh, more peaceful. peaceful. Yes, I love it. And uh, but did you went to the in the country? In the French country, yeah. Normandy. Normandy, okay. Tout ça. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. So I I know that you know this is more suburbs, but so beautiful. Okay. So enjoy your day. Thank you, you too. Bye. Bye. (laughs) Okay, you guys. So I was talking about Harry and Meghan, but give me a second. I'm trying to take this in. It's so beautiful here. Guys, I was trying to get to the supermarket <laughs> and I just got off track and now I'm up here. And what do you think? Do you think I should go further? Oopa.
I know you can't really see from the camera this situation, but this is really beautiful. You know, my kind of beautiful anyway, you know? Where are you going? I mean, stop. Oh my god. We're in, please turn back. Oh. My god, how beautiful is this? This is insanity. It's pure insanity. So yeah, the idea that these people expect us to believe that, what have we got here? This is the end of the row, maybe. Yeah, you know, so they want us to believe that Harry, excuse me, and Megan, that they want to give up their independence in, in Montecito. They want to go and be inspired by the overachieving Kate and William. You know, we, we can all see, everybody in the global community can see how overachieving Kate and William are. I mean, look at all that they do to inspire the rest of us in the world with the hard work and the impact that they have in the global community as compared to Meghan and Harry. I mean, no, I'm not being sarcastic. I mean, look at it. You know, so of course, Meghan and Harry are frustrated in Montecito. You know, after the disaster trip to Nigeria and the disaster trip to to Colombia and, you know, the disaster polo matches in Florida and all of the things that they've been doing in the last year and two or three or four, the book, the documentary, there's so many things that they have done that, you know, have broken all these records. But compared to William and Kate, obviously, Harry and Meghan are two duds who are doing absolutely nothing and so of course it makes complete sense that Harry and Meghan would want to give up their independence and go live in a place where there it's like a sieve where there are all these holes and leaks everything that they do and things they don't do be leaked to the demonic British tabloid media press of course, Harry wants to rehabilitate and, and apologize to William and Kate and Charles and Camilla for all the horrible things he said about them in his book, Spare. Because after all, the fact that they were selling him and Megan out to the British tabloids and the fact that they betrayed him and Megan by selling them out to the British tabloids in this way to give ammunition to the British tabloids to destroy not only the character of Megan but the very marriage and the foundational love that Harry and Megan had for each other. The fact that his own family was the one who was selling him out to the media is something that Harry should have kept secret. It was a betrayal of by on Harry's part to betray his betrayers in the sense that they betrayed him first, right? But he should have kept the secret and he should apologize to them for not keeping the secret and putting that in his book and telling everybody what betrayals they are, what two-faced jackals they are, how horrible they are, and what they were really doing behind the scenes, including beating the crap out of him. William beat the crap out of Harry. All of that was a secret, right? And it was a betrayal on Harry's part to betray his brother and his family like that, even though they betrayed him first. 
he should have kept the secret. And so, yes, of course, GB News, we all agree with you that it is Harry and Meghan, or maybe just Harry, who should apologize, and then he should go back and be in that situation, be Andrew 2.0, where William gets to decide which house he lives in, how much money he gets, and what is said about him and his family in the press. Yes, sure. We all believe you, GB News and Daily Mail slash Daily Fail, that Harry is consulting with William and his other old friends to get back to the UK because his situation in Montecito is so horrible and so grotesque. It was such a mistake. They have achieved nothing. Nobody in the global community uh, respects them. They never did, and it's rather worse now. They will never invite them to any of their countries. We all know that to be true, GB News and, and Daily Mail. Sure, Daily Mail and GB News, we totally take your word for it because, of course, you have inside insights into what is going on in Harry and Meghan's marriage because that's why you were the first to break the story that Harry was indeed going to be in the UK for that funeral just last week because you have an insider who knows what's going on in the Montecito um, royal family, right? So we all believe all you tabloid cockroaches when you tell us that Harry is going to apologize and seek re rehabilitation so that he can go back to be in that situation in London with his family, right? We all believe you. Anyway, Sussex Squad, listen. What do you have to say about all of this? I mean, can you believe that these people are trying to convince us of this nonsense? I mean, can, can you even wrap your head around how stupid they think we all are that we're going to trust them as a source of anything having to do with harry megan when they couldn't even break the story that harry was going to be in the uk for that funeral they didn't even know until harry had already left the uk and was back in los angeles that harry had been in the uk and now they expect us just days later to believe that they are experts on this man's life and that they have inside details about what this man is doing and what he's thinking i mean it just it just boggles the mind you guys it just boggles the mind